It's not supposed to blow up now, but it might. It's a test flight. You want to sit on my lap? Two S ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. That answer was a little six, too quick. Five. Four. Three. Two. Come on. One. Ignition. Yeah. We got yes. FC2, please prepare for section 35. OSC, FC1. Broke the doggo cam. It was already broken, but she broke it more. T plus 30 seconds. Starship 10 has lift off. It's headed to 10 kilometers on its test flight from Boca Chica in Cameron County, Texas. You can't hear John talk. He's the best part. Look how smooth, man. That looks like it's a silky smooth ride, bro. No bumpage, no turbulence. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool. You just don't want to admit it because you know I'm right. I can never be right about anything. I say this is cool, she says otherwise. That was not an opinion, that's a fact. This is cool. It's literally cold. There's like frozen for that. Point me.
<laughs> I, I, I will agree with that statement. This is cooler than having a wife, but I won't right now because she's right here. So we agree. So we're on the same page. We agree. Coming up on T plus two minutes, we're getting ready to transition from three engines to two engines firing on Starship. We'll be shutting one engine off. That's intentional. The black square you see on the side of Starship there, those are the heat shields that they're testing out. They're mechanically attached to the hull. They're quite a challenge, keep them from falling off. Because you have that, that the, the you'll have the heat upon re-entry and then you'll have the really cool propellant behind it. So you get a lot of different thermodyn thermodynamics going on there. All right, so we have one engine out. That's supposed to happen. First time they streamed this, nobody knew that. So we were all freaking out. <laughs> I didn't see any Raptors on fire, so that's a, it looks like a bonus. Flames are a different color. That's sweet. Someone needs to make like a, a lighter that looks like Starship. T plus three minutes and counting. Starship coming up on eight kilometers altitude. We're getting ready to shut down the second engine. This is intentional. Thanks, John. Yeah, one looks I'm green clear. and one looks blue. Or, or oh, purple. very nice, very nice. <laughs> I love it. John caught on the hot mic. Oh, okay, very now to nice. Switch very over nice. to the header tank for the one engine. John's nervous. I can tell. It's okay, John. We're going to get there together, buddy. Yeah, dude, a mini torch starship, like a cigarette lighter thing. Don't smoke. Smoking's bad for you and kind. But that would be really cool to have, like, fires with it and shit. No, because <laughs> you drop lighters in the fire. Okay, I'm going to come back <laughs> one up time. when we hit 10 kilometers right about in three seconds. I dropped the lighter and coming up on T plus four minutes. We're at 10 kilometers. We've gone it's into the good. hover. We're still being powered by the single Raptor engine. A good lighter for the go bag. Yeah, my uh, boring flamethrower is a little large to fit in there. I'm just kidding. I don't have one. I wish I had one. A flamethrower. I have a go bag. Come on, flip, baby. It's going to hover for a minute. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, look at that angle. It's pretty. CGI. CGI. Some damn good CGI. In fact, if it was CGI, it'd probably look better than this. There we go. Come on. Wow. Yeah, right? Oh, wow is right. That is oh, wow. Yeah, I mean. Two plus four minutes and 40 seconds. Starship has transitioned. Yes. It's flipped to the horizontal mode, beginning the descent back to the landing zone. Dude, that's such a smooth ride, dude. Can you imagine free falling in this thing right now? Ooh, the roller coaster ride. We should. We should definitely make that happen. You're just trying to get rid of me, though. I know what you're up to. No, who's going to make my sandwiches? <laughs> Obviously not me, because I'm not making it right now. Make your own sandwich. Waffles are waffles are much better than pancakes. All right. Well, you can't have any when I get my waffle maker. We can't be talking about waffles right now. We're talking about Starship, and it's coming in. Come on, they got this this time. They got it. Third time's a charm. They're gonna light all three engines this time instead of just two, so we have redundancy purposes. Coming up on five minutes forty-five seconds. We're down below two kilometers. We're preparing to light three Raptor engines to begin the flip sequence. It'll culminate with landing on the landing pad in Boca Chica. This is the I'm moment when you're, fast, yeah, like this is the moment when you're riding on this thing. You're like, oh God, here we go. Am I gonna live? Got three. Oh, it slowed down. Oh, oh, come on, come on, baby. I think we lost two. I think that might be the, oh, come on. Stay with us. Stay with us. Stay with us. Stay with us. Yeah. High five. You're scaring the dogs. Sorry, Kunu. Kunu's like, I did it. I want to be a part of this. Woo! In your face, doubters, Jeff Bezos. 
<laughs> That's okay. I'm kidding. Jeff is probably happy for him too. Maybe. Dude. That's pretty. There's a fire, but don't worry about that. Fire department's on its way. I was literally just gonna say, it's what okay. If, what if it blows it looks now? like it's tipping a little bit, but uh, it's still there. That's an improvement. All right. Don't worry about that fire. There's just liquid, you know, rocket fuel on board. It's okay. If you were if you were on board right now, you could just hit your ejector seat and do that flare mo movement we were talking about earlier. Did you guys see what I just saw? That was black magic, all right? Elon is a sorcerer. Third time's a charm, as the saying goes. We've had a successful soft touchdown on the landing pad. That's capping a beautiful test flight of Starship 10. As a reminder, the key point of today's test flight was to gather the data on controlling the vehicle while re-entering, and we were successful in doing so. We had a nominal ascent. We had the maneuver to place Starship horizontal when we reached 10 kilometers right on time. And then during the subsonic entry, it appears we had good control of the vehicle using the front and aft flaps. And as we approach the landing pad, we successfully lit the three Raptor engines to perform that flip maneuver. And then we shut down two of them and landed on the single engine as planned, a beautiful soft landing of Starship on the landing pad at Boca Chica. Also, a congratulations to the Starship team in Texas. They've steadily increased the test launch cadence over the course of the program and have delivered some of the most exciting test flights many of us have seen in a long time. The Texas team has several more suborbital test vehicles in build, with number 11 ready to roll out to the pad in the very near future. It's an inspiring time for the future of human spaceflight. Thanks for joining us today, and we hope you'll join us for the next test flight of Starship 11. Oh, now he said it was a nice soft touchdown, but those landing legs look like they've been crushed up into the, the ass of the thing. I don't know. I, I mean, dude. I'm just so pumped right now. Uh, you, you guys are all fools for not taking that free ticket on that starship. <laughs> Remember how we were talking, you know, you, you would have to be suicidal to want to take a ride on the starship. Well, we were done. We should have just taken, we could have gotten a free flight. Gosh, dang it. <laughs> Man, that was, uh, that was pretty dope. Dude, when it came in for that, that, uh, that flip maneuver for the landing and we saw the two engines flame out for a second there, I'm like, oh God, this thing's going to crash again. But, uh, I guess that's what was meant to happen because if they wouldn't have cut those two other engines it might, it might have had too much thrust and would have taken back off again. I, th <clears throat> I mean, I thought the understanding was Elon said they were going to use all three engines during the entire landing. Maybe they're getting to that point. Maybe they haven't gotten there yet, but they definitely lit all three of them for the flip maneuver and then they shut down two of them. So they got to figure it out either way. It doesn't matter uh, for our purposes. So that's exciting. That's exciting. Yeah, it looked like it was a little uh, leaning a little bit there. It might not have been as soft as John was hoping, but maybe it was, and and we just don't have a very good angle. But uh, who cares? That's an improvement, a huge improvement from the previous two. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see what they do with it now. Do you think they'll auction it off? Maybe someone like me can buy it. <laughs> I'll put it on my lawn. It's a nice lawn ornament. They have too many as it is. They could they could you know, spare to you, lose one. It's fine. Paul the Lionheart, be beautiful. It very, it very much was beautiful. Gosh, that was, that was pretty awesome. That was awesome. Hellfire Orbital. In honor of this historic day, everyone thank Kevin, exclamation points. Thanks for the stream, brother. Thank you guys for watching. I'm just here to watch it. And if you wanted to join me, you could, and you chose to, and I appreciate every single one of you. I want to thank SpaceX for doing the stream as well as, you know, other streamers like Lab Padre who are, are doing the old grind down there for us all. Um, and Elon for dreaming the big dreams and allowing us to, uh, you know, tag along with those dreams. It's a pretty dope guy, but we're going to wrap it up there. You guys, again, that was, uh, that was pretty insane to watch that. That was very magical best evening of my life don't tell a lawyer wife <laughs> like well she was here to spend it with me so that counts all right <laughs> she can't be too offended by that no that was cool so next time i guess we we passed the the 10 kilometer the 10 click flight phase so let's go to let's go high suborbital i know back in the day elon was teasing that they'll go up <clears throat> across the carmen line in space flip it come back don't do a retro burn and then propulsive burn back toward the atmosphere 
and just to speed it up, really slam into the atmosphere to test that heat shield. I don't know if they're still planning on doing that or if they're going to go to more orbital flights. But in order to get the orbital flights, they'll need the Super Heavy Booster, which is under development. They're almost finished stacking the, the first one as we speak. The orbital launch mount is coming uh, together swimmingly. So the future is exciting, and it's, it's, it's a great blessing that we can be all here, be, be all of us here together to uh, watch it go down live. So until uh, next time, guys, thank you for tuning in, and uh, I'll see you on Friday for our episode of SpaceX in the News. We do have a Starlink uh, launch coming up, maybe. I don't know. They keep having delays. This booster for this Starlink launch is the worst. <laughs> no, no it's, just, it's been delayed longer than any, any other Starlink booster, but uh, we'll tune into that whenever that happens. But I think Friday's episode is going to be next. Until that time, Godspeed.